So I'm uh, Brendan uh, from uh, the Blackfoot Reservation, uh, Brockett, um, Pigunny. Calgary Stampede, um, it's fun as shit and everything like that, you know what I mean? But I guess like in Native culture as well, like, you know, we, we, um, we got a lot of cowboys and we got rodeos and everything like that, but it kind of just reminds me of like celebrating just like white pride almost or some shit like that, you know? But like, it's also, I love it. You know what I mean? I always participate in shit like that, you know what I mean? So I grew up in Brockett, which is the poorest reservation in Canada. Like originally when they put us on these reservations, it was to kind of get everybody to forget about us, which worked. My reservation is essentially a third world country. There's no like uh, paved roads or anything. It's still dirt. We just got a hundred million dollar settlement um, last year. Um, there's been no infrastructure built. There's been no handouts or anything like that to help the people out. Um, essentially every house is like um, just either a crack house or riddled with mice and just so fucked up that you don't even want to live in there and the government gives us so much money so that our council who's running these reservations um, won't speak out or make a big deal about anything like that you know, my culture is amazing you know it's beautiful unfortunately it's just kind of gone to shit my name is Mike 23 from Six Nation my family's breaker family so shout out to them you guys aren't from here but Last year, they were digging up graves outside of residential schools that have since closed down. The discovery of unmarked graves at a former Kamloops residential school lead to demands for a plan to find all the buried children. In 2015, the Truth and Reconciliation Commission of Canada concluded that the residential schools were, quote, an integral part of conscious policy of cultural genocide against Canada's First Nations population. I found a lot of... Uh, children's like burial grounds of these residential schools in the past and the last one in Canada closed in 1990. Uh, actually it was 2002 the last one closed. Uh, my aunt and my aunt and uncle were both in that one actually in Alberta here. There's like over um, 10,000 unmarked graves of yeah. children's bodies of First yeah. Nations people. My grandma and like you know my whole family were in there. Um, my grandma to this day will not grow her hair long, will not speak our language and she basically um, was uh, kind of just brainwashed into like you know being white essentially. Growing up, the amount of times I heard like you know go back to your you know go back to like where you're from and everything like that from like a white person and I'm native you know yeah. doesn't make much sense you know I'm from this country or I'm, I'm yeah. literally before this country kind of thing you know yeah. in Canada. You cannot be a redneck and you're not a redneck. Go down to the States in the South and see real rednecks. We do not have that in the slightest. We are the most pampered, rich rednecks ever. You know what I mean? For the people who claim that shit.